Hello and welcome to today's Reflection for Holy Week. And we see Jesus gathered with his friends, the disciples, for another communal meal. Only this particular meal is going to have special significance. It is the Passover, a meal that they would have celebrated annually to remember how God had delivered his people thousands of years before. However, it's a meal that is going to be transformed in meaning. For this Passover meal, which we will refer to as the Last Supper, the Lord's Last Supper, gives us the Lord's Supper, which we celebrate and call Communion. And so to the upper room in Jerusalem. The meal was being served and in humility and service, Jesus had washed the disciples' feet. But we turn to see scandal and grace, but also glory. And so from John chapter 13 and from verse 21, we read these words. Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified. Very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another at a loss to know which of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter motioned to this disciple and said, ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered him. So Jesus told him, what you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. Since Judas was in charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out and it was night. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. Not all meals are memorable. Even special ones fade in the memory, but not this one, not this particular Passover, not this one that was prepared in an upper room, made ready particularly for Jesus and his friends. Not this one with its amazing acts of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. And then this disturbing, gobsmacking revelation of betrayal. Jesus is troubled in his spirit. And that must have been very unsettling, clearly obvious to everybody, disturbing them. And there is talk of betrayal. Very truly, Jesus says. One of you is going to betray me. How scandalous. How truly scandalous. How could this be? All of them would be let down. But how could anyone betray Jesus? Who could it be? What would it mean? There is scandal. They are scandalised by this saying. But there too is grace. You see, it's in the clue. Jesus says, it's in the, it is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. And so dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Jesus took bread, dipped it and gave it to the one who would betray him. That's grace. To have at the table and to hand bread to the very one who would lead whose actions would lead to his death. Jesus gave bread, and in less than 24 hours from that moment, he would give his life. Judas took the bread. He was then to take the money and to take his own life. And so we read that Judas went out and it was the night, it was night. It was dark in more ways than one. The sun had gone down, but the Son of God 
were soon to be nailed to a cross. But the scandal of betrayal was to lead to the revelation of the glory of grace. Glory that is not about human acclamation, applause, pageantry and triumph. But glory revealed in humility, in service and in suffering. And in the sacrifice of a life laid down for you and me, for the whole of humanity. When he, Judas, had gone, Jesus said, now the Son of Man is glorified. And so from this scandalous act of betrayal, God's purposes are fulfilled and the light of the world will encounter the darkness of the cross. And, 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 well, Sunday's coming. Yes, glory is revealed and glory will be revealed. Let's pray, and I'm going to use the prayer of St. Richard of Chichester. Let's pray. Thanks be to you, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits which you have won for us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly love you more dearly, follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. God bless you.